Hi students, today we are going to talk about a new topic regarding the food industry. Food hazards as well as HAZIP. What is HAZIP? If you come across uh, vacancies as well as uh, any company which is uh, related to the food industry, you can see that uh, either they will re require a HAZIP certified microbiologist or they will also write in their food products HAZIP certified food products or the company itself will be some considered to be as HAZIP certified. Now what is this HAZIP and what is the significance of this when you consider a food industry? Today we are going to deal with that. Now the term HAZIP is nothing but Hazard Analysis Critical Control Points. As you know, hazard is something which is, when we consider hazard, we say something which has been found to be dangerous or uh, something which has been found to be, uh, which is causing us something harm. So a hazard in a food industry basically is, can be defined as something which will be causing uh, a damage or a deterioration of the food quality. And uh, in HACCP analysis or uh, HACCP analysis, as it is correctly, uh, if you expand it, it is known as a hazard analysis critical control points. We are trying to find out what are the hazards which have been present in a food industry, okay, and uh, how can we control it? What are the control points at which it can be uh, removed from the industry and all that? So, but before going into the control points and all that, we need to know what are the hazards and what are the measures which we can prevent, which we can use to prevent them. So, let's go into the details of that in this session. As I was speaking about HACCP analysis, uh, let me just give you a small brief on it. If you go to consider a food industry, the HACCP analysis or the hazard analysis will start from the raw materials which have been received, okay, the safety which has to be taken and you have to examine and uh, verify each and every food gradient, food ingredient or anything you are using for its processing. Further after, the hazards during the processing, the different pHs at which the processing has been undergone, the chemical analysis is carried out. Further on, after the food product has been formed, you will see whether the filling up in the can is the correct. The inspection of the material of the can which has been used, whether it is correct. Then it can be the sealing, whether it, that is correct or the gravimetric analysis has been carried out. Then further on, you will check whether it is boxed, the product is tested, the indications are given, the proper labelings have been done and when it has been kept in a vehicle, if the if it's a perishable good is the proper refrigeration maintained and all that so right from the start of a food synthesis till it reaches the market all the steps involved in it are being controlled are being analyzed and uh, analyzed and are being maintained in a controlled environment uh, to maintain the quality of the food and the HAZARP analysis or the hazard analysis critical control point, it mainly involves the analysis of the food from its processing uh, towards till every point that is till it reaches the market. And the process of HAZARP analysis, it mainly follows seven principles. We will be telling that in detail, but I'll just mention it right now. You have a process of analyzing the food hazard to identify the critical control point or the critical point at which you can control the hazard, the establish the critical limits that is the beyond which you cannot, the hazard level shouldn't come. Establishing monitoring procedures, establish corrective actions, establish record keeping procedures and establish the verification procedures. These seven principles are being followed in the hazard. So, what happens is in every industry, every food industry that we study, they keep an aim that they will carry out an analysis to find out what are the prob probable hazards which could cause a quality damage for their food product. What are the different measures up to which or where are the different steps where this hazard can be controlled or up to what, what limit can this level of the hazard reach. Okay? 
and what are the monitoring procedures that is what all measures can should be taken to monitor it to analyze it now you, what are the corrective measures that we can take we can do it and what uh, you have to maintain every each and every step you should have a record of that and you have to verify whether the corrective action has been taken or not these are all included under the process of hazard let me talk to you with one um, industry as a small example so that you will quite understand what is it. if you are taking a water bottling industry probable the hazards come from okay a water uh, mineral water industry if you are having such an industry what happens is the possible chances of uh, hazards these are microbiological hazards are common in that so you should find a, po a point in the processing uh, in the during the processing where it can be controlled and what is the ultimate level okay and you should know during the microbiological hazards <coughs> these microbiological hazards the growth of microbes can be uh, analyzed by different methods either by using the microbiological methods or uh, when the microbes grow a ph variation in the water can be observed so you can analyzing analyze it by different methods either by using the ph monitoring or by measuring the microbiological flora like that different monitoring procedures are there okay and if there is a ph if ph is analyzed you will have okay the ph shouldn't go beyond this level that is a critical limit okay and if at all water is getting contaminated you have a ph variation what is the corrective action that you can do there you can kill the microbes or whatever it is the contaminants by using various techniques called ozonation and all that so that the what is it, the microbial level <coughs> will come to a low level then every step of the processing unit should be recorded now if you collect water and if you pump it into uh, into a tank what is the ph over there and after treatment with os after ozone treatment of the water what is the ph variation what is missing like that each and every step you have to monitor and keep a record of that if the record is not been maintained it will be a violation of the hazard and you can also do all the verification procedures which has been there in the hazard so in hazard analysis uh, you follow these seven principles in a food industry so that the quality of the food is maintained so you have to keep in your mind the first and the foremost step in hazard analysis is a hazard analysis and now in the coming sessions we will be talking about what are the various hazards which could be possible possibly present in a food industry so let's go into the next session in the coming classes thank you for now